Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will review how to manually tune an electroforce test system in displacement control. The first step in manually tuning is to change the tune mode. Normally, the system will be set to run TuneIQ by default. In the test setup window, go to Mover, Set Axial Tuning. On the new window, change the tuner mode from TuneIQ mode to Manual Tune mode in the drop-down box. Be sure to reset your PI and D values and ensure they all read zero. As long as these values are set to zero, the motor will not move when you start commanding a test. After these values are all set to zero, it's time to set up your waveform. In this example, we will be using a square waveform. Click on Waveform Setup and change it from sine to square. Next, select your control channel and set your level one and level two parameters based on the parameters needed to run your particular test. For this example, I will run a displacement controlled test from negative three to positive three millimeters. The cycle count is only important here in that you want to be high enough to ensure it won't stop cycling while you're attempting the tune. Once set, you can click OK. Next, click on Waveform Compensation and ensure that this is set to None. Change your scope if necessary to display the feedback you're tuning to and the Axial Command channel. In this example, we will be showing displacement and Axial Command. Now when we run this test, our Axial Command value will move up and down based on our Level 1 and Level 2 parameters, but our displacement will stay unchanged as long as the PID values remain at zero. Now is the time to turn on the mover power and click Run to start the test. You will notice the change in Axial Command pattern in the scope window while the actual displacement value stays unchanged. The first step, once the test has begun, is to click up one value under the P term to add power. We will be able to clearly see our displacement moving up and down in the scope window now. You will likely notice a lot of vibration in the signal, so you want to add some negative D term to dampen some of those vibrations. Click down in the D term window until you see the vibrations disappear from the scope. Once the vibrations have disappeared, we can add more power by clicking up the P term. Notice the displacement will increase with every click. Continue to adjust the P term and D term until you no longer notice a significant rise in the displacement value when you increase P. Once the P and D terms are set, click up in the I term, which will begin to fill in the rest of your square wave curve. Be sure to not overshoot the command curve while adjusting. If the curve starts to overshoot, be sure to decrease your I term until the overshoot goes away. When your command signal and the output of the motor match in the scope, you have successfully tuned the motor. In this TA Tech Tip, we covered how to manually tune an electroforce test system in displacement control. Stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.